How do you stop overthinking? This is something that a lot of people have been asking me. This is something that I see a lot of people struggling with. You know, something's happening, there's a problem, there's a challenge, and all of a sudden you're down with that overthinking, with that thing that goes on in your mind that tries to figure out everything, that worries, that things that cannot stop obsessing on that challenge or obsessing on the right, the wrong, the pros, the con, making a decision, being insecure, not knowing what to do, not knowing what's the next thing to do, draining so much of your energy. So in this video, I'm going to give you a way, a simple way for you to stop overthinking. So let's go. But And before we go into the content, guys, thank you for watching those videos. If you're new to this channel or if you're coming back, thank you. Take some time to like, share and subscribe to those videos if you want to see more of those videos and helping grow this channel. Now, let's go. So here's the thing. Overthinking is something that comes from fear. All right. Let, let's, let's be clear. Let's be honest. Let's acknowledge that it's something that we try to control. There's something that we try to figure out. There's something that we don't know. We don't know how it's going to go. We don't know what decision to make. We don't know the outcome of a certain situation. We cannot predict how it's going to happen. It makes us feel afraid, insecure. It worries us. And we try to get to that place where we want to be. Or we try to avoid a certain situation. And so we get into our head because by habit, we feel like that I need to figure out everything. I need to be in control. I need to have a solution. I need to make the right, the best, the only decision kind of thing. Or I need to figure it out. And all of this is run by your ego. But the trick is that the more you focus on something, the more your mind will start to go to work at it. And so it's a little bit like a snowball effect. When you start to overthink about something, you put so much energy on that thing, focusing on that thing, that now your mind is like starting to think about this and it just goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on because what you focus on, your energy follows, right? And then you start to feel like it and the feeling reinforces the thinking and creates more thought, which creates more feeling, which makes you feel even more like out of control, out of the unknown. And then you try to squeeze everything together and find a solution. You have to realize that if you do have this habit of overthinking, it is something that you do out of habit. That's why we call it the habit of overthinking, okay? But there's also a way for you to stop overthinking. And that comes down to a few different things, okay? Because you have to really be clear on what is actually being triggered in you. What are you afraid of? What are you trying to avoid? What is it that you're trying to control? What is it? in this situation that makes you feel in a certain way be behind your overthinking. There is a feeling that needs to be acknowledged. There is a fear, there is a belief, there is something that is coming up and that is triggering that response. So at the core, it comes down to your self-image. It comes down to you trusting life, trusting your ability, trusting that you'll be able to go through this situation and trusting that everything is working out for you. If you are lacking those beliefs, if you are lacking confidence in yourself or in life, or if you feel like there is something going on that you cannot control, something that you're going on that might be going against you is going to bring those fears. And all of us have a lot of beliefs about this. We all have a lot of limitation. We all have a lot of negative thinking because we've been conditioned through society, through teaching, through parents, through movies, through our life experiences, to those habitual thoughts that we have to experience life in that certain way. So overthinking doesn't put you in a situation where you are actually in charge and being able to prevent or create something that you want, but you have to realize that it's actually working against you. Because as long as you think that overthinking is serving a useful purpose, you will continue to do it. But what you need is to create a better strategy, a better way for you to deal with that situation. So, of course, on a subject like this, the context and what is happening can be so wide, okay? Most people are overthinking shit that will never happen. But they're miserable even then. They're stressed out, anxious, and afraid, even if it never happens, and it never happens most of the time. But the feeling is still there. The struggle is still there. The effort wasted and the energy wasted is still there. And it's affecting what you're creating in that situation. And often it can bring about 
you know, more, more struggle than necessary to go to this place. So the first thing I'm inviting you to do is to acknowledge how you feel, to acknowledge that you're not in control of everything in your life, but that you are only in control of how you think, how you feel, what you can do about it, and that you are able to control your own mindset and state of consciousness. That's what they call emotional intelligence, right? That's what this channel is all about. It's about becoming better, you know, overcoming those limitations that we create for ourselves and raising our level of consciousness so that we can see our situation through a new way. That's the first thing to consider. The second thing to consider is what do you focus on? If your energy goes where you focus your attention, then it's a question of am I focusing on a problem? Am I focusing on situations or worst case scenarios or things that I cannot control or things that I think will happen? Or am I focusing on a solution? Or am I focusing that everything is always working out for me? Or am I focusing on telling myself that no matter what, everything will work out for me. No matter what, I'll find a solution. No matter what happens, it will all happen for my eyes good. It will all work out. And if you focus on that solution, if you choose to trust, if you choose to no longer let your mind run the show and let your fear go, like on autopilot and that snowball effect, but to kind of hijack what's happening and to talk to yourself in a different way, you can start to break that old strategy you've been using and you can now start to create a new way of dealing with those situations that triggers you. But at the end of that, at the beginning of that, sorry, there is that fear, right? There is that fear and that fear, you have to become aware of it. You have to embrace it and you have to acknowledge that you're afraid of something. And that's the first thing you need to do is to be able to release that fear that is triggering all that thinking. Because let's face it, whether you spend two days overthinking about what's the right decision to do, or whether you go with your intuition the first moment, you are pretty much, I guarantee you, you're more likely, in my personal experience at least, you're more likely to go right the first you know, intuitive moment that you had about what you're supposed to do. But even if you go with what your heart is telling you, even if you go with what your intuition is telling you, you have no guarantee of what's going to happen. And that's what's freaking you out because you don't know what's going to happen. So you cannot control it. So you have to be able to let go of things not going the way you want. You have to be able to let go of not wanting to make a mistake, not things not working out the way you think it's supposed to work out instead of how it's really supposed to work out for you in the best way. And all of this is about being able to trust yourself, your ability, your consciousness, your creative power, but also that life is supporting you, that you're safe and that life is giving you a situation, a solution, and that everything, every problem also has the solution. It's just right there. You cannot have something without its opposite. So it's about your mindset. So I'm inviting you guys in this video to do this one thing, build confidence in yourself, build confidence in your ability, in your self-worth, in who you are. And that starts with how you think about yourself. That starts about your beliefs about life. That starts about your belief about people. That starts about your belief about your current situation. And I'm inviting you to really work on your self-image and simply trust. Come to the place where you can feel the fear, do it anyway, and trust in yourself, in your ability, and that life will give you exactly what you need and better. That's the only thing you can do. You can only control what is happening in you and everything else will work out the best. So how do you stop overthinking? Well, if it's a decision, make a decision. Don't wait. Don't be in between because that is the worst place you can be. Do your research, do your due diligence if you have to, and then make a freaking decision and stick with it until you see what outcome it is, and then you can always change, advise, grow, learn, and maybe even do nothing. Maybe it just works out. But don't wait for things to work out, for the stars to align, for the retrograde to go away, for whatever the fuck is happening. No, you have to stop feeding your insecurity, overthinking shit, and freaking commit to make a decision. Your problems, most likely, are because you're not making a freaking decisions. That's it. Most of your problems, that cause you to overthink is simply because you're scared to make a decision, you're indecisive, and then 
because trying to figure out stuff and you're trying to go into those crazy scenarios and it's not helping you. So if it's about making a decision, make a decision that you think is the best, that comes you know, from your heart, from your intuition, if you don't know, and be done with it and then deal with the situation. By simply making the decision, it will bring the relief, but it will also bring that new momentum. And if your situation is not about making a decision, but it's about trusting, maybe things have done, you've made the decision, and now it's all about waiting, letting life bring you what you have, then I invite you to work on yourself, to work on faith, and focus on faith, and focus on your thoughts, and focus on your energy, and focus on gratitude, and trust in yourself, and in life, and that everything is always working out for you. And this is the habit that you have to build. And once you can grow your sense of confidence, your insecurity will go down. And once you can go from fear to faith, life becomes smoother. But it comes down to the belief that life is supporting you and that no matter what is happening, it's always working out for you. That's my take on overthinking, guys. If you need to break those habits of overthinking, those thoughts, that confidence, that lack of confidence, all these kind of things that are coming up and you're not sure how to make those decisions and build that confidence, I invite you guys to go check out my Better Life program, the 30 days identity transformation will get you from a place of lacking confidence, overthinking, and will get you the tools, the strategy, the habits over 30 days to stop overthinking, to stop doubting yourself, to stop doubting life, and to go with a place of strength, power, confidence, and make things happen in your life. That's for me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. As always, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Be well.